Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Rito here, and I seen the news. And I know what you guys are thinking, Rito, where have you been? Where is the Terra Continent? Well, let me let me show you. Let me show you my boys, right? So pretty much, if you played this game long as me for 690 days i just basically recently got bored of terror and i went to play something else most likely i was playing game pass games and i just basically got bored of you know this game but i just basically heard the bad news reapers are getting nerfed and this is basically gonna destroy the game right people are quitting terror people are basically they listen. They sell in their gear. They sell in their gear, and pretty much gonna switch to Valkyries, Valkyrie sorcerers. Pretty much, Reapers are not even gonna be top five DPS anymore. Pretty much. Um, but I've been through worse, right? I've I've been through worse. I played this game for over like two years, and Reaper was like the worst DPS class. And I got rejected from like so many dungeons because my DPS sucked. And it was ass, and I, I felt like Naruto. I felt like Naruto sitting sitting on a goddamn swing set because uh, I got rejected. I had no friends, you know. So, anyways, not too long ago, not too long ago, right? We just got nerfed like a couple months ago, and this nerf was basically like lose twenty percent of decreased cooldown on your Grim Strike making it to where it swings for a million years and you gotta you gotta switch to souls to get it and then we lost we lost um our shadow reap was how long was it our shadow reap is 11 seconds it, it went from 20 seconds to 11 cent seconds i'm like dang if they're gonna hit us with this hardcore nerf, nerf at least give us back our 20 second shadow reap and Decreased cooldown of Grim Strike by by twenty by twenty seconds. I wouldn't care about this major nerf. This nerf should happen like not too long ago, and not you know not we get hit with two nerfs. We already got hit with one. Give us back the other one. They don't even know what to freaking do. So, anyways, this nerf is pretty much when you use assassination. You got incre you got increased damage by 200%. Now it's going to go from 30%. It's about, it's going to go from 30%, right? To make it to where like every time you jump invisible, you're going to now use 30%. That that's out that's missing out on 170 damage. Increased damage by missing 170. Assassination is going to be useless now. And then not only that, we are missing out on a hundred crits so like every time when you jump invisible all your moves is pretty much is critical it's critical for six seconds every single move is critical so this means since everything is critical you could go to full power like you could you could be full power because all your moves is going to crit no matter what now since all your moves is not going to be critical you are forced to basically use crit now. You are forced to basically go back to the reaper crit factor. So this is how it's pretty much is going to look. I never, I have to basically make, I have to basically make the build. Because, uh, I'm just basically giving you a demonstration, right? Because every single thing I have is basically full power. So I had 385k. It's not, oh, actually, no, I didn't do it right. Give me a second. I thought I did it, but I didn't. Did I put the, okay. All right, so I'm using, so I'm using, uh, I'm using crit. So I got, I got three crit and two power on, right? So this means, right? Um, actually, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, I didn't do it right. Alright, so this means, I w listen, I went from 385k attack to 284, 284k, right? Pretty much, um, 
The Reaper, the Re this is not the Reaper crit cap. The Reaper crit cap is about 250, 250 to basically, to somewhat crit on the RU moves. Your, your pretty much, your Apex skills needs about 100, 150 crit, 150 crit. While your other moves pretty much needs about 240, but most likely, you're gonna be well. Shard and Strike is hard to really crit on, but Grim Strike is gonna be your most move. It's gonna be your most basic move to be basically do DPS. But anyways, you'll need about 250 in order to basically crit, because like, well, you have triple crit factor. You have triple crit factor. And then not only that, you have uh, uh, on a successful hit increased crit rate by uh, two times. But you still need a bit, a decent amount of crit, about 250. So not only that, since assassination is gonna be trash, right? So this means it doesn't even stop there. It keeps, it continue, it keeps on going. Everybody on this game has nothing but souls. Nothing for souls to basically like, you know, spam invisible. Mine's is seven seconds, because I wasn't really bothered by making a full soul build, pretty much. Like every time when I jump invisible, that's increased damage by 200% and like all moves is critical. You know, basically spam it. But now, because of this nerf, full souls build is trash. Full souls build is trash. I do want to say you need a hyper bird build. You need three superior attacks and four souls, or four souls and three superior attacks, pretty much. The reason why is because even though soul builds is trash, it will still help. Like it will still help um, Grim Strike to come out like a bit more because without without souls, Grim Strike is basically trash. Now, if it wasn't if it wasn't for them nerfing Grim Strike cooldown, I do want to say I wouldn't have made all these souls. But without souls, it still takes a million years before the base to come back. But anyways, this is about to be the worst nerf that Reapers are basically getting. Uh, but the thing is, they focus on the wrong thing. They they focus on the wrong thing. They don't even focus on other stuff, you know? Like, there's a bunch of glitches and bugs they gotta fix. PlayStation could join Xbox Guilds. Xbox Guild could join PlayStation. They're not gonna fix that. They're not even gonna fix the Kai's bug. They, there's stuff to be fixed. What really, what really basically they need to fix is the stigmas. Stigmas are the freaking reason why Reapers are basically getting nerfed. If it wasn't for the stigmas, listen, I promise you, I swear to life, I swear to God, bro. If it wasn't for stigmas right now, stigmas wasn't a thing. Like, imagine this wasn't a thing. Reapers will be fine right now, and they wouldn't have gotten nerfed. They were fine the way they is. Now, we got slot with two nerfs, and they about to be the worst DPS, the worst DPS ever. People are basically leaving this and that. I'm still playing Reapers, but like, I've been taking a break from Terra because this game has been tiring me out pretty much. So, this is my thoughts on it, right? Like, people are basically leaving and leaving, quitting the game. Not, oh, wait, actually, not only that, hey. Before I end this video, let me tell you something. You want to hear something worse? Echnoplasma is going to be getting nerfed. Echnoplasma. If you form a thousand Echnoplasma, that's one million gold. Coming this April, one thousand Echnoplasma is going to get you 200k. They're literally about to make it to where farming gold is going to be really hard in this game. I have 22 mil gold and most of it basically came from... Actually, no, I can't say base. I was about to say Mechnoplast, but to be honest, though, I've been selling the living hell out of a uh, Heroic Oath, like Heroic Oath gear or Frax gear, because that's about, like, 700k, so, like, I most likely upgrade 
bad to make gold, but Ectoplasma is like the only free to play go to make to farm gold in this game. And they about to base they literally about to they about to end their own game. They about to literally end their own game. They couldn't at least bring back our Shadow Reef by 20 seconds and whatchamacallit. I wouldn't basically be too bothered by this new nerf, but we got slapped hard twice. So anyways, this has been your boy Rito. And peace out, my boys. I'm not even going to say enjoy your day. It's hard to say it when Reef is going to